Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make a card using Lawn Fawn's A Bug Deal. So I've stamped out the images I'll be using on some Nina Solar White cardstock with uh, black licorice ink and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with the dirt pile and for that I'm using E43, E44, and E47. I'm laying in my darkest, that E47, down at the bottom and then blending upward with the E44 for the mid-tone and then adding some highlight at the top with the E43. Then I'm going to move on to my little worm and I thought I would color him like Slimer from Sesame Street. Um, that was uh, Oscar the Grouch's little pal that I remember watching as a child. And if I remember correct, he is orange and yellow striped. So I'm using YR12, YR14, and YR18 for his orange stripes. And then while I have those markers out, I'm also going to color in the top wings of the butterfly. I want to make sure that I add the colors here and there across the card so that I have nice little pops um, that just kind of pull the whole thing together. So once I finish with the butterfly's wings, I did go back and add a second coat just to uh, help that blend a little bit better. And then I'm going to move on to my yellow combo, and that is Y11, Y13, and Y15. So I'll finish off Slimer, the uh, little inchworm, <laughs> with those shades. And then I'm also going to color in the body of the butterfly. So I'm using that Y15 as the darkest, and then blending out with the Y13, and then using a little Y11 for the highlight. I'm also going to color in parts of the caterpillar with those shades as well. As I mentioned, I wanted those colors to be kind of um, spread out throughout the card, so I wanna make sure that you know they're represented in more than one place. So I just did every other little section for him as well. Then I'm going to move on to some greens. I'm using YG00, YG01, and YG03 to color in the grasshopper. So I'm using YG03 for the darkest, and then YG01 as the midtone, and YG00 for the highlight, and I did do a double layer on him as well. And then I'm going to finish off the caterpillar with those shades as well. So he'll be a yellow and green striped caterpillar. I'm going to do the chrysalis in similar greens. I'm using the same ones for two of the stripes on there. And then I'm going to take away the YG00 and add in the YG05 to finish it off. So it will just have a little bit of variation on there to just give it a little bit more of a unique look. But it's still very similar since I only went one step up with the colors. Then I'm moving on to some blues. I thought I would do a blue shade rather than a black or a brown for the rest of the bugs. Just thought it would add a little bit more of a whimsical look. So I chose B34, B37, and B39. And I'm going to do the bottom wings of the butterfly. And then I'm also going to do the little um, rolly bug there, the one that's all kind of rolled up into a ball. So I'm doing the B39 for the shadows, just lining out each of those little sections of his body, and then blending that out with the B37 and filling him in with the B34. For the branches, I wanted a different brown from the dirt pile, so I went with the E50s. I have E53, E55, and E57, and I'm going to do a little shadow on the underside of each of those branch sections with the E57. Then I'll pull that out with the E55, still blending upward toward the top where the sun would be hitting. And then I will fill in everything else with the E53. Just being careful in those thinner sections to use the very tip of my marker 
so that I can get into that small space. And then I'm going to do the smaller branch exactly the same. I wanted them to be um, either from the same tree or similar trees that are side by side there. So I went ahead and kept them both the same. And I left the coloring in the video today just because it was a fairly short video anyway. So I just went ahead and left it, didn't edit any of the coloring out. So then I'm going to move on to the leaves and I want to choose some different greens than I used for the bugs. So I'm going to use YG05, YG07, and YG09. So it's just like a similar value, but um, just a little bit darker. And I think these um, darker shades have a little bit more of a bluish tone to them as well. So that will separate them out a little bit from the bugs, but still um, be very much in keeping with the color scheme that I've got going on. So I use the YG09 as the darkest down toward the bottom of the leaf and then blend it up with the YG07. I'll fill in the tip of each leaf with the YG05 for a little bit of a highlight. And then I'll go back in with a little more of that YG09 to just add that depth back in. And then once I've finished up all of the coloring, I'm going to trim these images out with their matching dyes. For the focal panel, I've taken the four square backdrop uh, portrait and I have die cut that out of a piece of uh, speckled eggshell cardstock. So I'm just going to pop out all of the little windows and I'm going to line the back of that with some foam tape. Then I'm going to take a piece of watercolor wishes pattern paper and I chose a blue kind of cloudy print. I'm going to adhere that to my card base, which is another piece of that speckled eggshell cardstock folded and scored to a standard A2 size card. So it's four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall. I'm going to peel off the backer sheets from all of those little pieces of foam tape that I added so that I could have a little bit more dimension on my card. And then I'm going to carefully line that up with the edges of my card base so I have it nice and straight and then press that firmly down into place. Then I can begin to add in my images and I've added foam tape to the back of most of them. I have uh, pre-measured so that I can leave the foam tape off in the section where the tree branches are going to overlap the center panel of the window. So the larger branch is going to extend across the bottom two frames and then the smaller branch is going to come in from the top right and just kind of overlap that center panel. And then I'm going to begin to add in the rest of my images. So I'll add that little dirt pile down in the bottom right corner. And then I'll have my little Slimer inchworm kind of popping out from that. I want to add some leaves to the ends of the branches to kind of help them um, make the branch look a little bit more grounded so that you know it's not just kind of coming out of nowhere there especially since it didn't quite tuck under the edge of the frame so i added two of the full leaves down on the bottom branch and then the one with the leaf bite in the top right corner i'm going to add the little rolly bug kind of rolling out from between those two leaves and then I'm going to take the caterpillar and have him up so he can be munching on that leaf as a snack. I'm also going to hang the little chrysalis down from that branch as well since that kind of goes with the caterpillar. And then over in the uh, top right corner, I'll add the butterfly. So that top window kind of shows the three stages of the metamorphosis there. And then um, I kind of just set that butterfly down as a placeholder. I want, want to fiddle with that a little bit more, but I was trying to figure out where I wanted the grasshopper to go next. I ended up overlapping the center portion of the window frame, so he doesn't have any foam tape except right under his head. 
And then I felt like I needed something else in that top window with the butterfly, so I stamped and die cut the little speech bubble with the word hi there. So I'll just move those until I'm happy with their positioning. Then I'm going to move on to my sentiment. So I've popped a piece of Lawn Fawn's Blue Jay cardstock into my Misty. And I'm going to be heat embossing with some Lawn Fawn white embossing powder. So I'm stamping out um, the sentiment that says, this is a really bug deal, but I have masked off the part that says bug deal. So it just says this is a really. I'm going to coat that with the embossing powder. And it did get a little bit of an impression from some of those words. So I'm just going to grab a dry paintbrush and brush that embossing powder off uh, so that it just has the words that I want. And then I'll grab my heat tool and heat that from the back first to minimize some warping and then heat that from the front until it's all white and shiny and melted. Then I'm going to take my card base and open that up and pop it in my Misty. I'm going to stamp it with Blue J ink to match that little uh, piece of sentiment from the outside. I stamped Have an Uplifting Day, which is from uh, a really high five, and then the bug and the speech bubble were from a bug deal. I trimmed down that sentiment with the Everyday Sentiment Banners, and that's going to go sort of at the top there. Then I've taken Finley's ABCs and I've die cut a bunch of letters out of Lawn Fawn cardstock. I believe this color is called Cilantro, but I will have all of the products I used listed and linked in the description bar below as always. So I've um, die cut the letters to spell out Bug Deal. So I'm just grabbing my little reverse tweezers here and I'm going to be adding some liquid glue to the back of each of the letters and then adding them to that bottom portion of the card. And I'm overlapping the letters just a little bit to kind of give them a quirky feel. I'm also kind of tilting them at different angles to just make it seem a little bit more whimsical. And to make sure that I got the spacing good, I started with the last letter of the second word on the right hand side and worked towards the left. And then when I use the first word, the word bug, I'm going to start on the left hand side and work toward the right. So each of them will be even on the outside edge of the card and I'll end up with a space in the center and uh, that way I don't have to worry about you know having too much space left over on the right or the left. Then I'll grab the sentiment banner and I'm going to add some more liquid glue to the back of that and I'm going to line it up on the left hand side there and just tuck it under the top edge of the word bug so that it kind of just uh, sits nicely in there and is flush with the top of that window space. But the more I looked at it, the more I felt like it just needed something else in that bottom left window frame. So I ended up coloring and die cutting a little ladybug and I just used the same oranges and blues as I had before. And that is going to finish up the card. So there is another peek at the inside. So I figured this one was a good card to have on hand for uh, thank you and just to let somebody know that even small acts of kindness can really be a big deal to us especially at this time. So I hope you all are doing well and that you enjoyed the video. If you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also ring that notification bell if you want to be sure my videos always end up in your feed. And if you'd like to keep watching here are two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.